This is my morning routine. Come in to wake. Oh, dark 30. I'm going in the back way. I don't usually go through uh, the newsroom. person in here. Uh. Oops. I gotta follow the arrows. You know, beer food. Here is my cave. Yes, very much is a cave. I'm here, hopefully, to get my second beer fluenza shot. P -f Pfizer, I think. And they don't have the people guiding you. I almost thought, man, did they move it or what? Now I'm like, uh, oh, I see people over there now. I was worried because I was running a little late. But I'm like feeling like a, a mouse in a maze. Where's my cheese? Rut roll. Here comes the Toyota. Breakneck speed. Hey, fine. Well, here we go. Let's see what's what. All right, here for your second dose of Pfizer. Yep. You okay walking about 100 yards? Or yep. A closer? Oh, I'm fine. All right, we're going to take a left right here. Park over on the right. Check into this building right here. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Let's follow the arrow. Follow the arrow. And I guess park anywhere I can find a spot. Last time I parked over here. And nope. <laughs> I 
I guess I could go around and park on the inside. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I can park over here. Maybe I should find a shady spot away from everything. Yeah. You know, it's rare to find be able to find a shady spot be because <coughs> all the employees have all the shady spots earmarked so they can get into their car and not be, be broiled. I think I found my spot. Ah, chia. Chia. Anyway, time to get shot. Hee <laughs> All right. Now we're making some progress. My mask wasn't good enough, so they made me put on another. Oh, I tell you, I can't breathe with two masks. And the one just fell down anyway. Well, anyway, I can get to the car and I'm going to express my opinion on something. Here we are, out in the shade, right where I parked it, next to this Rustang. I'm using this opportunity to try out the reason why I got this gimbal. Let me show you. I switched out the camera. Now I want to try my um, Osmo Action. And I forgot I can put it in HDR mode now that it's stabilized. See, HDR mode doesn't allow you to use the uh, hyper smooth stabilization or whatever it's called. Anyway, let's go to the point of my kvetch here. I, for the media is to be believed, there's about 40% of Americans who are refusing to do any of this. And I, with my poor man's education on this whole subject, know about the mutations or they fancily calling them variants. And there's a new variant floating around, it's a mutation that is very, very, is much more deadly and stronger. So I think what is about to happen is those who refuse to vaccinate are gonna find out the hard way that the scientists are not wrong, this isn't a government conspiracy or plot, The plain politics is essentially playing with fire with your life and the life of your family. And, um, <clears throat> You know, when it comes time and a very, very deadly strain of this virus takes hold in the world, and I hope it doesn't affect those who have already done what they should do and have vaccinated, and it starts affecting those people, those fools who've listened to uh, the political fools who told them to play with superstition and not not do what they're supposed to do, then they're going to be there's going to be a line coming out the door and going around the block of these people all of a sudden want to get a vaccination but my feeling is is when they do that it'll be too late already they'll already be dead I hope that doesn't happen but there's a bit of poetic justice in that so let's see what happens hopefully those of us who have gotten ourselves vaccinated and have done what we should and Everything will move on with our lives, and um, I guess there'll be a lot less Republicans showing up at the polling place.